Welcome to Possibility Time with Dr. Helen Gorishi Jafo. I am excited. Yes, I am. Okay, when? When was the last time you actually took out time to say, okay, I need to share some of those nuggets because you don't want to be selfish, right? So this is the time for you to call someone. I need you to do that. Can you do that for me? It will be such a blessing, okay? Well, share. Like, and I also want to hear from you as well. Let me hear your thoughts. It will be wonderful. On today's Possibility Time with Dr. Helen Rishijapo, we're going to be looking at who wants to be a billionaire. Woo! Who wants to be? Now, look at it. I'm, I'm taking it from the realm of a thousand, you know, thousands, as it were, from that to billion. And one day, maybe we're going to be looking at trillion, trillion as well. It is possible. Becoming a billionaire is achievable. That is extremely important. You need to know that. But nevertheless, in order for you to be, there are some things that you also need to learn. You just need to understand and put to practice certain rules. So, flow with me. Rule number one, understand that saving money is different from investing money. Mm -hmm. Saving is simply putting your money in accounts, such as savings, checking account, or money market account at a bank. It may also include cash investments such as short-term CDs, certificate of defo deposit as it were. Investing on the other hand is the process of using your money to buy assets such as stocks, bonds, real estate and other investment that should grow in value over a longer time or period of time. Poor people save, but rich people but always invest. Rule number two, embrace compound interest. What do I mean by that? One of the greatest mathematical di discoveries of our time is compounding. Compounding interest is when your earnings from your savings and or investment create additional earnings. In other words, compounding is when your earnings generate more earnings. As a matter of fact, compounding makes your money grow exponentially. Yeah. So what does that then say? If you're even a salary earner, that's an earning. Okay? So by the time you throw it into something, you earn more, and then you put it again into an investment, then the money grows beyond what it used to be. That's what it is. So give it a try. Rule number three, be focused. You invariably become what you focus on, believe you me. Focus on your goals and targets. Slowly but surely, you will get there. Rule number four, start investing early. The sooner you begin to invest your money, the more time you have to allow the effects of compounding to produce long-term wealth. For example, if you start investing 3,000 per year at a, at a 6% annual growth rate at age 25, you will have approximately 680,000 by age 65. Think about that. Time has the most significant effect on generating long-term wealth. I can almost tell you that. What are you waiting for then? Start investing now. Rule number five, stay at your lane. Do not buy things you can't afford. We live in a society that wants things and wants things by all means. There's nothing wrong with spending money that you have, but everything is wrong when you spend money that you don't have. Spending money you don't have leads to debt accumulation, which can lead to financial disaster at the end of the day. Hmm. So, be wise. Rule number six, use credit cards wisely. Credit cards can be good to an extent. However, credit cards can also be the demise of your financial well-being. People have used credit cards to purchase unnecessary things and they can be very frivolous as well, only to put themselves in severe debt. Don't do that. It doesn't make any sense at all. When using a credit card, it is important to remember that you are borrowing money that you have to pay back later. 
So remember to pay half your entire balance by the due date. That's very important. Also, do not purchase items using a credit card unless you have the money to pay for them at the end of the day. Beware of introductory interest rates and balance transfer offers. I'm a banker, so I know what I'm talking about. Read the fine prints of the credit card stamps, the really small print they don't want you to read. Mm. It's very important before you start getting into uh, spending, you know, spree, as the case may be. Now, rule number seven, buy assets, not liabilities. Buy things that make you more money, not things that make you more money. For example, if you invest in a stock that pays the dividend, a portion of the profits that it comes shares with you, you will receive cash every three months for doing absolutely nothing. If you purchase a bond, you will receive interest payment every six months. This is called passive income. Conversely, if you take out any kind of a loan to buy something, you now have accumulated debt that you will have to pay back with interest. Obviously, some loans may be necessary, such as a mortgage, when you purchase your first home, or maybe a car loan. However, older types of debt would increase your liabilities and amplify your ability to build wealth. Number eight, establish a budget and save for a rainy day. A budget is simply an estimate of expected income and expenses for a given period in the future, usually monthly. By establishing a budget, however, you can monitor how much money you're spending on certain items and services. An important aspect of a budget is to set aside money each month to build a cash reserve, also known as a, your emergency fund. An emergency fund is money you have saved for the purpose of providing cash in the case of an unforeseen event in your life. Ideally, you should have an emergency fund equal to three to six months of living expenses. Your emergency fund should be kept in the same easy to access investment like certificate of deposits, money market account, or simply the savings account. Hmm. Let's hear what the word of God says. In Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 6, the Bible says, In the morning sow thy seed, and in the evening would hold not thy hand. For that knoweth not whether it shall prosper, neither this or that, but whether they both shall be alike good. Of, of course, also in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 12, the Bible says, I know that there is no good in them, but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life. In verse 13 says, and also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of his labor. In it is the gift of God. It is believed that the path to financial security begins early. According to Forbes, hear this, there are only around 2,000 billionaires in the world today. Would you want to be part of the, of the league? Hmm. That's a big question to you. So, you need to start now. Never allow your environment tell you it's impossible. Never allow yourself to tell you that it's impossible. Never allow anyone tell you that it's impossible. Because in all things, with God, all things are possible. On possibility time today, do something what we heard wrong with it, and let us hear what you have to say also. Comment, share, like, and of course, never stop watching Possibility Time with Dr. Helen Urishi Jaffa. I love you and I want you to succeed. The, bottom, the billionaire of now, congratulations to you. And don't forget when it starts rolling in. Mm. Don't forget me. I love you. Bye-bye.